Secretary General's in-depth study, Ending Violence Against Women, From Words to Action, launched at the General Assembly in October 2006, provided a comprehensive examination of the universality, scope, and extent of violence against women and the related challenges and gaps in public responses. Following the launch of the study, the General Assembly adopted a comprehensive resolution which called upon member states and the United Nations system to intensify their efforts to eliminate violence against women. The study and resolution have resulted in increased momentum among entities of the United Nations system to initiate new activities to address violence against women and to strengthen coordination and collaboration. As a result, the Interagency Network on Women and Gender Equality established the United Nations Task Force on Violence Against Women to take a leadership role in follow-up to the resolution. The task force is co-chaired by the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, and the Division for the Advancement of Women, DA, that is now a part of UN Women. UNFPA is also the lead implementing agency in the pilot countries in executing the joint program. Uh, violence Against Women is at the core of UNFPA uh, missions. Um, the role of UNFPA as co-chair of the Task Force on Violence Against Women is precisely to galvanize um, our country offices. We do have offices in more than 140 countries uh, and they all must join forces with the rest of the UN system uh, but also to work with national government, civil society organizations to make sure that violence against women is a priority uh, within all development frameworks and that effective strategies are put in place uh, to combat the scourge of violence against women all over the world. The task force has piloted a joint programming initiative to address violence against women in 10 countries, which are Burkina Faso, Chile, Fiji, Jamaica, Jordan, Kyrgyzstan, Paraguay, the Philippines, Rwanda, and Yemen. The joint program works to involve all relevant stakeholders at the national level, including government actors, the United Nations country team, and civil society stakeholders. These actors form joint program committees at the country level and work to draft multiple stakeholder proposals. صندوق الأمم المتحدة للسكان ملتزم التزام تام من أجل العمل مع جميع الشركاء لمواجهة هذا النوع من العنف وكذلك من أجل العمل على مضي قدما في نحو تحقيق تمكين المرأة والحقوق الإنجابية وقضايا النوع الاجتماعي في اليمن. There are six steps in the Joint Programming Initiative, and the first step is for the 10 pilot countries to conduct a baseline assessment to be used by stakeholders to create a joint plan to approach the status quo on violence against women in their respective countries. For example, in Chile, this baseline assessment helped identify the scale of gender-based violence in the country. The United Nations system commissioned the study by experts to answer the following questions. Size and nature of gender violence in Chile. Legal framework. Institutions related with gender violence and coordination between them. Victims assistance offer. And progresses in future challenges. And in Yemen, though the baseline survey revealed that there was a lack of coordination and sharing of information, the assessment itself was done with the support of national partners. The baseline studies were used to support the formulation of a joint program proposal, which was a multi-stakeholder approach to addressing violence against women. UNFPA coordinator of this interagency task force on violence against women, Upala Devi, worked with all of the pilot countries to initiate the joint program. She believes that the approach has increased national leadership and partnership. The STEM country multi-program initiative 
commenced in end November 2007. In just three years since its inception, the program has been able to demonstrate that with in-country ownership, it's indeed possible to address issues of concern, in this particular instance, addressing issues of violence against women. In addition to fostering ownership, the Delivering as One approach helps unify and coordinate response at the country level. In Chile, the stakeholders are working together to address violence against women. There are 15 different UN organizations in Chile. All of them together are collaborating with the Chilean government on the attainment of the Millennium Development Goals by year 2015. Chile is in good way to attain all the goals by 2015. Nevertheless, inequality is one of the main challenges for reaching the goals. And specifically, inequality in the area of gender is one of the main concerns of the collaborative effort between the UN system and the government of Chile. Diverse stakeholders bring in the comparative advantages of working on the issue. This helps to ensure sustainability or viability of efforts as it reduces duplication and ensures optimal use of available resources. For example, in Rwanda, there are several stakeholders. The Rwanda National Police, UNFPA, UN Women and UNICEF, and they are all working together under the Delivering as One approach to establish the first one-stop center in Rwanda for gender-based violence. We offer a holistic care to gender-based violence survivors, such as medical care, psychosocial care, and we also give uh, medical, legal or forensic expertise. The Sangha One Stop Center is supported by three UN agencies, uh, where we work closely both on the technical level and on the strategic level. Sharing the same objective as Rwanda, in Jordan, the Delivering as One approach helped to reduce duplication and increase accountability. Initially, the Ministry of Health in Jordan had separate projects on violence against women and children, but unified the approach as a result of the joint program. We find uh, it's a better way to uh, mix the like Jordan, Kyrgyzstan is also initiating the joint program and also believes in a comprehensive approach involving all necessary stakeholders in order to efficiently address violence against women issues. According to Ms. Telegul Eskanova, leader of the Research Center for Democratic Processes, it is not enough to only have the police respond to cases of violence to stop GBV. A solution requires the action of several stakeholders. Вот очень удачно, что как раз фонд народонаселения, проект как раз фонда народонаселения как раз таки направлен на то, что чтобы помочь разработать стандарты этих услуг для других государственных учреждений, таких как социальные работники, система образования, здравоохранения, органы местного самоуправления, общественно-профилактические центры и другие структуры. of gender-based violence differ vastly between and within regions and countries, and not all United Nations organizations focus on gender-based violence in a given country. Therefore, the joint programs on violence against women have developed program proposals that fit the needs of the country, taking into consideration the social and cultural context. For example, in Paraguay, there was a need to educate the media on how to address the issue. Therefore, as part of the joint program, a project was established to inform journalists on gender issues and GBV, and the first of its kind in the country. Como los medios de comunicación son actores claves para la difusión, el conocimiento de lo que es la violencia contra las mujeres, hemos implementado el proyecto Lentes Lila, que consiste en capacitar a periodistas, hombres y mujeres, 
en el abordaje a la violencia. Considero que a través del Ente Lila, muchos periodistas, colegas del interior, han aprendido y han mejorado el abordaje de estas informaciones en los medios. Moving from Paraguay to the Philippines, this pilot country is using an approach directed towards men to involve them as part of the solution for ending violence against women. We believe that um, we don't just talk to women, we have to address the perpetrators. And we have this uh, group of men who talk to other men, uh, um, their peers, to, to, to educate them and to conscientize them so that they don't beat up their wives or don't uh, do acts of uh, using prostituted women and the like. I think it's very imperative that while the bigger part or the bigger cause of the problem are men, being perpetrators. I believe that all men should become a part of the solution of that problem. Recognizing that one size does not fit all, each of the pilot countries from across the globe have various initiatives that range from strengthening the data collection system to creating access to justice for women victims of violence. While there are similarities and differences of projects, delivering as one approach is the common strategy that sets the foundation for the joint program on violence against women. The pilot country's initial steps with the joint program on violence against women has proven that it is possible to work in collaboration with stakeholders to address the issue across the globe. It also proves that the continuation of the Delivering as One approach is vital to the ongoing efforts to eliminate violence against women. For UNFPA, being co-chair of the task force has reinforced our belief in Delivering as One and uniting to end violence against women. Whether in conflict, post-conflict, humanitarian or development settings, violence against women crosses all sectors and segments of society and tackling it requires that we work together. UNFP has undertaken tremendous work addressing violence against women and girls in 140 countries in which we have programs. And we look forward to working in partnership to raise awareness, to provide services, and to end impunity so that violence against women will no longer be one of the most pervasive and least punished crimes in the world. <laughs>